she talked about it and i was like wow like i also have an experience and i think i should share it as well because a lot of people don't know what to do hi guys it's your girl ivy k and you're welcome back to my channel if this is your first time don't forget to click on the subscribe button below so guys um i'll be talking about um why you should or shouldn't study in the uk and um i think um i'll be kind of referring to diane equipment's video she's also a youtube blogger and i'm going to put like a link to her video down below and she talked about it and i was like wow like i also have an experience and i think i should share it as well because a lot of people don't know what to do because they don't have enough information and a lot of people are not necessarily telling you what you need to know based on trying to choose what country to go in for your studies so this video is going to address that and um thank you diane Kweme, because i really enjoyed your video which is why i'm doing mine and my version and my um experience in studying the uk so guys studying in the uk is not bad i'm not saying it's bad i love 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 the british culture i enjoy it like i'm like i am a british person in my mind i just didn't have the passport like that's how it is i so um a quick disclaimer so um if you're on a scholarship to study in the uk this video might not be for you and um if your intention for studying in the uk is solely just to study in the uk and come back straight back to Nigeria then this video is not for you but guys um, if your intention for wanting to study in the UK is to study in the UK and you know kind of try and get like a bit of experience and um, you know work for some years before coming back to Nigeria then this video is so for you so stick around and let me know what you think so guys um please the comment section is open so i need you guys to kind of tell me talk about your experiences or someone you know just kind of talk about it so i think my first my first um point is compared to other countries i think uk has a lot of returnees and that's a fact so if you're going for like a job interview or all that you kind of hear about someone who studied in the uk and is not back in nigeria and Sometimes it's not always pretty because you even have people after studying in the UK and even getting like a master's not being not being able to get a job or being offered like ridiculous amount for the kind of job they get so you could actually find someone earning close to 20k or 50k even with a master's in the UK so I think that's the first point and secondly unlike other schools I think taking Canada for example you could if let's say for example your cost starts around uh, September and you get your visa around this time you could actually still travel to Canada and kind of like get to know the environment before September so when um, when it's September you kind of start schooling and all that but in the UK no you just get like your visa from when you're about to start your course till the end so um i think um i'm going to kind of make it like more simpler so in the uk let's say you're studying for like a one year course so almost immediately you get like a week or two for your graduation i think you get like an opening but immediately after your graduation guys your visa expires so there's no room to get a job and um, the only way you're getting a job is if you get a company that wants to sponsor you and trust me that is super hard because that means they have to pay um, a lot of money to sponsor you and why would they want to do that when they have other like UK citizens or European citizens that almost match your credentials and they don't have to spend so much money to sponsor so that kind of tips the balance a bit so you're finding yourself that it's like oh, with all this degree and all that 
no one wants to get you a job I cost for um, after my course I had to stay for an extension for my professional exams and all that so I got like a temporary leave of stay for a period of time so when the um, I think when my extension my leave of stay expired it expired before my graduation and it didn't make sense because it was like about two three days to after my extension so or like a week or so so it wasn't making any sense to get back to Nigeria like there was not enough time to reapply for a visa and come back so I missed my graduation thankfully my certificate was sent to me so it wasn't like, but I missed where having to wear the gown and all that and that's what UK does to you like you you giving like a very tight timeline between like this is what you want to do and this is how long it's going to take you to do it and once you're done pack your bag like we don't want you so a lot of Nigerians um, a lot of Nigerian students um, I think after their education are faced with making a decision to come back to Nigeria or um, be illegal citizens in the UK or kind of take more drastic measures to stay in the UK and I think I'm going to do like a different video for this but guys trust me it's not really something I can advise someone to be illegal in a different country so that is why a lot of people come back and then they start running around so after you study and you spend so much money to study to get a degree outside of Nigeria you go to uni you get like your undergrad then you do your masters then you come back to Nigeria and it's like oh who do you think you are and like oh I'm going to get a job because of all of this and like that I'm going to get a job no guys that's not the reality sadly that's not the reality then you get to Nigeria then you find that it's almost like all your fancy degrees and all that doesn't work well maybe if you have like ex like connections like really really strong connections then not you but like the average person who whose parents have spent so much to send them abroad and like okay you know what come back and, I, and then it's like you're in a rat race and you're not getting paid what you think you should be paid and it's like oh you don't have a job and all that so like i said sadly that's the reality for a lot of nigerians now so but i think compared to other countries that's not true so I'm not saying that UK is bad and like for everyone don't ever step foot in the UK. I love UK. I love the UK. I um I still have like really fond memories of it. But I just think the immigration laws are not friendly, especially to Nigerians. I don't know about the whole of Africa as um as one, but I know to Nigerians is not really friendly. So I'm kind of giving you the information you need because a lot of all these um, agencies don't tell you they just say oh you want to study UK blah 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 they don't give you the information they tell you oh greener pastures uh, don't worry if you get a job trust me the job you're going to get as a part-time student because you get like 20 hours working permit in your student visa for the week you're either going to get a job in a factory or you get a job in a restaurant i think a lot of people don't usually get that but i think a lot of people end up in the factory to support their living like a part-time because you, you like i said you can only do 20 hours except you're really lucky and you get like an internship so um it's super easy to get your admission like compared to australia um canada us it's like it's like this you get your admission to the uk agency so if you're kind of lazy if you feel lazy going through the process uk would jump at you because you just like it's like that you get your admission apart from the fact that you need to pay i'm not saying the process is easy i'm just saying like compared to all the other countries uk for me that's my um, opinion my experience i think it's a lot easier to get into uk schools and universities so it's like ooh, that's the best option but if you could just take the time to just do the old work and spend time to to look at other countries and the benefits then i think that might work so generalize it for you everyone 
so but i think everyone has one or two things to pick up yeah some people have been lucky enough to get jobs and all that but what is the percentage of people who will get a job um or will get to stay in the uk after their course or something so guys let me know what you think. I just don't want to talk about it. I know everyone has different experiences. Your experience does not really have to be matchy matchy with mine. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's talk about it and let's get people to know. I know I think let's get talking so that people can read and kind of like get more information from it, guys. So thank you for watching me and if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up love ya